Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty for our third and final part of this creepy severed head that we found in our dumpster at work, special effects makeup painting. If you haven't tuned in with us, I have painted two other heads. The first one was Harold, he was a clown. He had demon eyes, they sucked my soul out. The second one was um, our Nazi youth zombie who we named Kristoff. He uh, looked like he had uh, seen some stuff and probably uh, had not been in direct sunlight for about uh, 7,000 years. So today we're doing our third and final one. He has uh, probably the funkiest hair of all three of our hair dummies. Um, he is Ricardo. Ricardo. And I believe I'm gonna make Ricardo into a pumpkin. It is going to be a little challenging. I don't have orange as a shade in my uh, repertoire of um, airbrush paint, but I think if I mix red and yellow and a little bit of white, I can make a decent enough orange shade. Um, and then I do have um, some orange in my one of my Mehron, um palettes, and I should be able to go in and fix whatever I need to with that. And then uh, we'll make him a little pumpkin man. Yeah, we'll do a little pumpkin something with my little pumpkin man. Let's see what color I just created in here. It's not pumpkin orange, I can tell you that. It's like peach. So let's see. This may be like a slightly rotten pumpkin. Like it's like a pumpkin that like probably should have been thrown away a couple weeks ago, which aesthetically maybe that'll work. I'm doing my dang this, but it's not seeming to help. So we're just gonna, oh, you know, actually on his fake skin, it does not look that bad. Not too shabby. Apparently I'm a mix master too. Gonna add that to my resume. Oh, perfect. And it like just covered his full head perfectly with what I used or with what I made. So sweet. Pretty orange, right? Like pretty pumpkin-y? Yeah. Not too bad, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty impressed. So I mixed that uh, and made, uh, I made it work. So, yay. Yay for solving my own problems. I believe if I mix yellow and blue, it's going to make green. Is that not how the primary colors work? So let's make some green now. Let's with the orange. Let's see. We're testing our luck today. So far, I've made dark green by accident with yellow and black. Now I want to make like a bright green with blue and yellow. Does it? From here, it does. Does it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty green. Oh, it's pretty green, all right. Oh yeah, that's very green. Okay, all right, yeah. Look at me, look at me go. Look at me go. I'm like out here solving my own problems tonight. That's a big deal. I normally just cry in corners, so. Tuesday night turn up. You know what's sad is I still have not done the atrocity that they did cutting his hair by doing all of this to these heads. I have not committed the same crime that they have done because these these guys were like scalped. Humpa lumpa doopity doo. I've got another puzzle for you. That was Nikki, by the way, who pointed out that he looks just like an Oompa Loompa because he literally does. <laughs> also, my, hand, my nails are green, so. But just like uh, four of them. Like, just the pinkies, like, fine. But okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the airbrush. Uh, his hair took so much paint. So much paint. His hair is like 10 times thicker than mine will ever be. I'm kind of jealous. I'm also not jealous of the fact that he was like uh, destroyed and now is being painted by me and is also a plastic head. So like, we all have, you know, we all have things. I don't have thick hair. He, his whole life is a wreck besides his thick hair, so. I'm cleaning out the airbrush again, and now we're gonna get some black. I'm gonna make him a little pumpkin. I'm gonna do like a nice little jack-o'-lantern style thingy on his face. And then I'm probably gonna have to paint his mouth because I don't think I'm skilled enough to do it with an airbrush. Like, put it, like pretty positive that I'm not skilled enough to do that. But I should be able to do some triangle eyes um, for the little eyes of the jack-o'-lantern and uh, then I should be able to use a brush to paint on the lips. Oops, I went in hot. That was a mistake. I've messed up. Apparently I miscalculated my ability to do triangles, so we're just gonna go in with the brush. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it before I show you because I guess the camera wants to see. Shut up, Nikki. All right, he's a little asymmetrical in the eye area, but not too bad. Most pumpkins aren't perfectly even, so. The nice part about his nose is it's triangle shaped, so it should be relatively easy for me to follow. It's like a coloring book. 
even though I was very bad at those too. All right. <laughs> I think once the mouth is on, it'll help. Or it won't. Whatever. All right. While this is drying, I'm going to go in with the lips. Wish me luck because this is going to be a challenge, I believe. I'm not going to lie. This is actually beautiful. Don't pay attention to the concealer because I got I have to go in there and fix his pumpkin concealer. But like that, look at that. Look at that line. He looks like you decapitated a Oompa Loompa and then carved a pumpkin face into his face. That's exactly what I did. That's straight up what it looks like. <laughs> this is a message to all you Oompa Loompas out there. <laughs> Give me your candy. <laughs> I've decided to make an artistic choice mm -hmm. and I've uh, done like harsh concealer all the way around his eye. <laughs> <laughs> that will not be blended out because I can't blend it out. So it's just a choice at this point. You can wait for it to dry and go over with another color. Alright, you know what? That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. I'll shut up now. <laughs> ah! You made me laugh and I put my hand in it. <laughs> You ever carved a pumpkin while on meth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is what this looks like. That is exactly what that looks like. That's exactly <laughs> what would happen if you were on meth and tried to carve a pumpkin. You'd cut you'd cut off someone's head and start carving into okay, it. Okay, I said meth, not bath salt, okay? Epsom salts? No, Epsom salts are the healing property of the world. So if you snort it, then do you become healed? I think we just... I don't know. They recommend not ingesting too much of it, so... Too much of it. You know what happens? You, you get healed. The other ninety percent of your brain. If you if you if you snort Epsom salts and you won't need doctors anymore, open your eyes, sheeple. Open your eyes, sheeple. That sounds like the exact uh, mentality of someone who snorts Epsom salts. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to take Nikki's advice and do another top coat. All right, there he is. I'm done working on him. I've messed him up enough. All right, so this one is Ricardo. So, we have Harold, our clown, Kristoff, our zombie Nazi youth, and uh, uh, Harold, our Oompa Loompa pumpkin. I mean, not Harold, Ricardo, our Oompa Loompa pumpkin. Apparently, I want to name everybody Harold. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this series. It was a lot of fun. When I talked to my boss about doing it, I was kind of like, yeah, that's fun. And she was like, you should record it. And I was like, I should record it. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, it was very different than our normal content, obviously. Um, but because I don't use this kind of stuff normally, um, I was kind of excited to see that I didn't do absolutely atrociously. Um, I'm not an artistic person. I don't paint. I don't draw. I don't do anything but do makeup. And that's because I've spent a lot of time doing it. So yeah, this is me being artistic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you don't mind doing so on your way out. That way you see every time we post a video and you will be able to uh, get notifications and see, um, when we announce our 100 subscriber giveaway, which is coming up very, very quickly. So as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and you stay girly with a dark twist.